Well, uh, um, you know, the encouraging thing for me is is that uh, you know I think we're getting better, uh, and uh, um, you're always pointing towards that tournament in March, and we're playing our best basketball right now. And the fact that you know I think we had our best game of the year on Wednesday, and I think we played better today, and. In order to win that tournament, you have to consistently play, you know, back to back to back good games. And this is the first time I think this team has really done that, where it's played good and in, and then had the focus and in, and and be able to sustain things to, to go and play well again the next game and uh, not take any steps back. And uh, so. Uh, you know, I'm pleased obviously with the game, but I'm more pleased with the where the team is going right now. Coach, were you was there a little bit of a slow start to the game? Were you concerned at all about a little bit of a hangover from Wednesday's game because it was such a scintillating performance? I thought on Wednesday. Well, I don't want to make excuses, but I, I thought you know you walk out, you, know, you you leave here, and the place is electric. And you walk in today, and everybody's at the beach. And you know, it's certainly not our fans' fault. But you know, I thought I thought the atmosphere was a little flat. And I think our team came. And I told them that before the tip. I go, you need to generate your own energy in here. There's no excuses. And uh, I think uh, you know the thing Riverside strength is is controlling tempo. You know, they when they get people in their pace. Uh, and slowing it down and frustrating you, that's when they have success. And again, they did that early in the game, but slowly we were able to get some stops and some rebounds and get the pace of the game up. And, and I told our guys too, you know, we tried to play from behind it at, at their place and it was really a difficult game. It's a whole different game on a team like Riverside when you can play from ahead. And we were able to do that today. We, you know, we, I don't know that we ever trailed uh, and, uh, you know, I think that was a big key. Coach, we've talked a lot the last few weeks, especially about holding teams under 60. Can you talk about holding, being able to hold under 40? That's better than 60, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I think we're improving. I mean, that's, uh, you know, again, we're, uh, we didn't hold Riverside under 60, I mean, uh, Fullerton under 60, but they're the second leading team, core team in the country, and 65 was pretty good. So. I think we're getting better defensively. Uh, so I told them, though, we can't, you know, we've got to shore some things up. We can still play better than this. And that's really exciting for as a coach to be in the middle of February, you know, a, a less than a month from Selection Sunday and saying, hey, we can still play better. And, uh, but I think we have guys in a great rhythm right now uh, playing very well. So it's a fine line as a coach between driving them to get better and keeping them where they are. But, we took. We were pretty light this week. Next week was Wednesday and Saturday. I said we don't have. We can. The following week, with one game, we can take some time. This week we can't. You know, we got to go Monday good, Tuesday good. We play Wednesday. We got to prepare good Thursday because we play again Friday. So it's a. It's going to be a tough week for them and a, and a big challenge. And uh, uh, you know, we got two teams coming in here that we haven't seen, uh, with Davis and, and Stephen F. Austin. And uh, you know, I like these seniors to go out. You know, with. Uh, with two wins, they've, they've, they, you know, James and Peter have never lost a conference game in this, in this building, and and, and Wednesday's their last one, and, and we can't, you know, we can't let them down. We've got to get ourselves ready.